we can give name to a range or cell in MS Excel and use this name for any calculation or formulation. I have some data here on this sheet product ID, product name, and quantity. What I want, I want to give name to a specific range. So I will select these cells and here in name box, I will give a name. Let's give like uh, product underscore ID. I have given underscore why because space is not allowed while giving name to a range. I will press enter. Now if I select product ID, then these cells are selected. Let's do this one more time. I will select these cells. In name box, I will give name as quantity. Press enter. So this is how I have given name to this range as well as this range. Now I know that I have two defined name, product ID, quantity. So I can use these two named ranges in my calculation or any formulation. Now I want to count total products available. So what I'll do, I'll use the formula as count start brackets. Here instead of selecting range, I want to use named range. So for that I will use, I will type product ID. So I can see that this name range is already there. So I can select bracket closed, press enter. This is how I can make use of named range. There is one more way of using named range. Let me delete this equal to count start brackets. Here I can use shortcut key as F3. We get this window. All the named ranges we can see here. So here I will use product ID. Press OK. Then I will close bracket. Now here I want to sum total quantity. So for that I will use formula as sum. And here I will press F3, I will use quantity, bracket close. And this is how we have defined ranges and made use of those defined names. Now what if we have one more item here like 1010 product K let's say quantity is 200 now I want that this new item should be added in the existing range if I select quantity we can see that this newly added item is not there so for that we will go to formula tab and we have naming manager so I will click on name manager here we can see that we have two ranges quantity and product ID so I have selected product ID I will press edit then I can see that A2 to A10 is selected I will delete and make it A11 press OK then I will click on quantity edit same I will do here and close and we can see we have not made changes to any formulation we have just changed the name by extending one cell and formula has already updated the result so this is how we can give name to any range or cells in ms excel and make use of those defined ranges in any formulation thank you